lower your golf score guaranteed master the mundane. Lower your golf score guaranteed master the mundane here is the big secret. Master the mundane. Say what? Exclamation mark. I'll probably lose most of you at this point because the big secret is so boring that it couldn't possibly take you from an 88 to a 75 golfer. Run for cover if you must. Because after you read this article, the truth of it will dog you every time you are walking to the next tee box for the rest of your golf life. I am assuming of course that you have at least a little game already. In basketball, it's the layup, baseball the bunt, football block, tackle and cap. In goal, it is the dreaded three foot putt. You know the one. When you bury it to take a high dollar double press, it was a five footer, but when you miss it, you would have won if it hadn't been for that 16 incher you missed on 18. There is one of those in every golf magazine on the street every week. The focus of this piece is on the benefits of making the three-footer every time. This one skill is so critical to your game that nothing else seems to matter until this piece is in place. I am the player on our foursome and we are the reigning base champions. I only mention this to make this point, I'm not very good because I make three footers dot 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 always dot during the latter stages of the playoffs. We get to watch players with games that far outclass mine, fall to pieces because they have zero confidence in their short putting. What I am talking about is developing the habit of making short putts. When you go to a major golf tournament, what do you see Tiger and Phil Edel? Do when they first come out? They practice short putts. Why? Because they are easy, it calms the nerves, and putts are what is going to win the tournament when all is said and done. Some of the best are tall in one, pick a spot 8 to 10 inches in front of the ball and putt over at point 2. Visualize putting to a dime instead of the hole. Say you have a right to left breaker, imagine a dime sitting on the front right edge of the hole and try to hit at dot 3. It is a prerequisite that you have the ability to make these putts with regularity. Devote the time on the putting green knocking down three footers until you can make 30, 40, or 50 in a row. You need to have this muscle memory in place for the rest of the strategy to work. Once this is accomplished, the real magic can begin. Keep a putter in your office and or at home. Don't stand there and bang away at it for hours. That won't do you any good. Your goal is to be able to stop what you are doing, and achieve 100% intense focus on your putting routine, under any circumstances, under any conditions, and at any given time. When things are hectic at work, pick up the putter, take a deep breath, and sink a three-footer. No do-overs. If you miss it, take a second to consider why. Chances are you didn't clear your mind and focus on the task at hand. It is the act of stopping to figure out why you lost focus and missed the putt that will revolutionize your short game. Pretty soon you will develop the habit of immediate focus. Imagine never having to be iced by your opponent sinking a 12-footer. How many golfers do you know breath a huge sigh of relief when their chip shot leaves them a 3-footer for par? Trust me. It makes your opponent not stop the advantages of having ultimate confidence in your short putting game are too numerous to list but here are just a few colon one. You won't have to spend time kicking yourself on the drive home for those 4 or 5 strokes you wasted point two. You can make smarter choices on chips and sand shots knowing you can make a little longer par putt.3. You will make more birdies because you don't have to lag you for fear of the three foot comeback or point five. Amazing thing dot 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 those five and seven footers start looking much shorter than they did before question mark seven. You'll become immune to pressure. You have trained your mind to go on autopilot for short putts dot the list could go on and on. 
point is that if you start thinking this way and practice immediate focus, you will reap the benefits in your golf game. Golf season is just around the corner and if you try it, about midway through this summer, you will realize that you are a pudding machine, mark my words. Your golfing bugs will resort to heckling you out of frustration, but that will just amp up your focus. Remember, the goal is to achieve 100% focus anytime, anywhere, under any conditions. Give it a shot.